Hello everyone, another review coming up. Tonight we're going to be doing Samuel Adams Boston Lager. Now obviously one of these isn't going to fit into those acting glass, so or two. <coughs> I think it ends on me. Nonetheless, let me tell you a few things about this Samuel Adams Boston Lager. Now the Boston is going to be the overarching theme here because obviously it's made by the it's called Boston Lager, but it's also made by the Boston Brewing Company in Boston. And it's inspired by one of the fam founding fathers of America, Samuel Adams, that guy right there. And obviously Samuel Adams, Boston, it's all linked to the American independence thing, what with the Freedom Trail and all that. Um, so yeah, the, the, the Boston references are all on display here. Also, if you're a Boston Red Sox fan, you'll get this on tap. It's left, right and centre. It's basically Boston through and through. You know, you can't mention Samuel Adams without Boston. It's kind of like, I don't know, it, it's kind of like mentioning me without mentioning sexiness as well. You know, there's a lot of it. Nonetheless, let's uh, have a look at what this Samuel Adams Boston lager looks like. Um, it is a 4.8% volume lager as well, so it's not the strongest, but it's also not the weakest. As you can tell, it's, it hasn't filled up the glass, so I've got a bit of room there. So we'll go through the other one, shall we? <clears throat> Alright, it's only a little tiny bit more, but it'll do. You know, it, it looks good on the camera at a full pint rather than just like one that's sort of two thirds full. So yeah, as you can see, like a golden colour and carbonation domination. There's so much carbonation here, I don't know what to do with it. There's more carbonation in this glass than there is handsomeness in my reflection. And I'm going a bit far with this, I. Nonetheless, uh, let's have a see what it smells like. Shouldn't have done that. I filled the other a bit too high to the point where I actually sniffed it and I got froth on my nose. Ow. And what makes it worse? I've, I've trimmed my nostril there, so they're all like little razor blades and I blew my nose and I forgot that I'd trimmed my nostril there. And the, the, the inside of my nose, the, the, the septum, on the right hand side is red raw. So having a load of froth going on it as well just made it sting even more just then. So I'm in a lot of pain right now. You know, uh, if, if you want to send me donations for medical bills, DM me and I'll I'll give you my only fans love. On the left another sniff. Hopefully I won't get a load of froth up my nose. That's not that strong to smell. So in all fairness, my nose is prioritising stuff right now. Okay. I fucking hit that. It smells a little bit malty. It's a little bit grassy. But all in all, there's not that much smell to it. It's not something that hits you on the nose straight away. I say that, but it's already hit me on the nose and it fucking hit. <clears throat> I mean, it metaphorically, not literally. But yeah, a little bit grassy, a little bit malty. So, um, yeah, we've seen what it looks like. We've smelled what it smells like. Now, will this be any good to taste? You know, will it be, will it be welcoming me in? Like a home run at a Red Sox game? Or will it be scaring this Brit off? Just like Samuel Adams did to those damn red coats back in the day. Yeah, I met Jimmy Bell. <clears throat> There's only one way to find out. Bottoms up and up your bottoms. Here we go. It's um, straight away, it's malty, a little bit of fruit there. I'm getting 
I'm getting like a southern pear for some reason. I don't know why. Why the pear is used in the brewing of this? So I'll have a look at the back. It's um, what does it say? Fuck all of it. Uh, water, malted barley, and hops. But yeah. A slight, a very, very slight bit of aftertaste, but it's mostly malty with a little bit of a little bit of pear for some reason, a little bit fruity. And um, one last taste because it has to be doing me justice there. now and then though, I'm getting a fairly liquid taste like like someone's left too much washing liquid in the glass which I haven't I mean I, I've just sort of used the water and the sponge <coughs> didn't use any detergents or washing up with or any of that shit but I'm getting something it's a bit chemical which kind of spoils it a little bit I'm going alright until then one last two So basically there's malt, <clears throat> fruitiness, and a slight bit of chemical at the end, which ruins it a bit, but not it's only slight. It's not enough to ruin it completely. You can have pints after pints after pints after pints of this, and you can still enjoy yourself. Um, obviously 4.8, yeah, 4.8, just to make sure. Um, so it's not too strong, so you can have a few of these. It goes down fairly easily. It does leave a slight aftertaste, but for the most part, it is okay. So I'd give this about a 7 out of 10. So, and I almost guarantee that maybe the synthetic flavour comes from the fact that it's bottled. Because every time I have a bottled beer, and I get a synthetic flavour, like a, a sort of liquid, chemically taste, I go somewhere else and have the same thing on tap, and it's completely different. The the original flavours there, the, the more organic stuff, but the actual like the, the sort of fairy liquid shit that I'm talking about there, it's just not there. So I would recommend this, but I'd get it on tap rather than bottle. Because the bottle wise is it could be better. But a tap I'd imagine would be much better. So nonetheless, if you're ever in Fenway Park and you think I'm gonna have a beer, then Samuel Adams. Boston Lager is the one for you. Not that you'd have much choice, otherwise that's the flagship right there. Anyway, hope you've had a wonderful evening, and I'll be back soon with another review. Don't know what it is, but we'll figure something, won't we? Nonetheless, take care. Sign out.